You have heard many people talk about fasting or cutting down on food in order to get better, help manage certain diseases or lose weight effectively. For people with diabetes, intermittent fasting to cure diseases is effective and what should be kept in mind when performing this method. Several studies show that fasting may provide a number of benefits for people with diabetes. However, experts warn people with diabetes should not see fasting as a mainstream treatment. Intermittent fasting has been one of the most popular weight loss diets in recent years. However, is this diet effective for preventing diabetes progression? What is intermittent fasting? Fasting means you don't eat any food for a certain amount of time. You can work on a fasting plan by not eating anything for a certain amount of time, then eating as usual and repeating it periodically in a structured way. You can implement the intermittent fasting model in the following three forms. Method 16 eighths. These are also known as lean gains. This approach involves skipping breakfast and limiting mealtime to 8 hours such as 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. After that, you will fast for 16 hours. The 5 to 2 diet. In this model of eating, you only consume 500 to 600 calories on two days a week, not two consecutive days, while the other five days eat as usual. Eat, stop, eat. This eating pattern involves fasting 24 hours, once or twice a week. For example, you will fast for dinner one day until evening the next day. How should diabetics interrupt fasting? Some of the following types of intermittent fasting have been initially shown to be safe and effective in diabetic patients. The first, fasting 5 to 2 diet. This is one of the most common intermittent fasting rules. You are asked to eat within the recommended calorie limit for five days a week. For the remaining two days, you will need to cut calories only, not complete fasting. At the same time, you should not fast for two consecutive days. Research shows that 5-2 fasting has the potential to improve insulin resistance and support weight loss in patients with type 2 and pre-diabetes. To follow the 5-2 diet, you should consult with your doctor about the menu and daily calorie limit. The second, fasting during the day. Another popular form of fasting is fixed time fasting and normal eating for the rest of the day. For example, with the 16-8 fast, you can eat whatever they like for 8 hours and fast for the remaining 16 hours. Time frame diet promises to improve circadian rhythms and metabolic processes, thereby helping to lose weight effectively. Research shows that 16 to 8 intermittent fasting effectively reduces insulin resistance. How does intermittent fasting affect blood sugar? The human body needs insulin, a hormone in the pancreas, to convert glucose into energy for cells. In people with diabetes, also known as diabetes, insulin resistance leads to an excess of glucose in the blood and causes hyperglycemia. Intermittent fasting requires you to eat nothing, or eat very little for a certain amount of time. Normally, after only 8 to 12 hours from the last meal, the insulin level in the blood decreases, making it easier for the body to burn fat. Several small-scale studies have shown that intermittent fasting has two main benefits for diabetics weight loss aid and increased insulin sensitivity. Other effects such as reducing inflammation, detoxifying and stabilizing blood fat still need to be studied more before any conclusions can be drawn. However, intermittent fasting can lead to lack of energy, hypoglycemia during fasting and hyperglycemia when the patient returns to eating and drinking. Therefore, people with diabetes should follow this diet carefully under the direction of their doctor. Benefits from fasting to cure diabetes. Much of the benefits of fasting have been studied in animals. Scientists are studying the effect in humans, including people with diabetes. While the initial results are promising, more studies are needed to show the benefits of this diet. Fasting can provide a number of benefits such as, reducing inflammation, losing weight and lowering cholesterol, improving the way your body manages glucose, blood sugar, and reduces insulin resistance. A small study conducted on three men with type 2 diabetes for 10 to 25 years under the supervision of a healthcare professional who fasted every day or three days per week showed. Within one month, all three people were able to stop taking insulin. In less than a year, they were able to cut or stop using other diabetes medicines. In another small study, 10 obese men with type 2 diabetes fasted in the form of eating only at a certain time frame. 
As a result, they improved their fasting glycemic index and lost weight after six weeks. In fact, we need larger scale studies to accurately evaluate the effects of fasting for healing and which fasting patterns are best and how often. According to the American Diabetes Association, ADA, if you are overweight or obese, losing weight can help lower HbA1c levels, blood sugar control tests for two to three months, and lower your risk of heart disease. Fasting can also affect how much insulin you need. In one study, people with type 1 diabetes followed a fasting plan that could help lower insulin doses. Certain organs in the body that play a role in diabetes may also benefit from fasting. Your body stores more glucose as glycogen in the liver and takes about 12 hours to use that glycogen. If you don't eat, for energy to work, your body will burn fat instead of glycogen in the liver, thereby helping to lose weight. This is also good for the liver and pancreas.